Looking at 58 degrees on this Tuesday. First day of June, no less. Meteorologist Byron Miranda. You're going to need that uh, probably sunblock over the next couple of days, guys, because yeah. there's more sun in the forecast and more heat in the forecast. So let's talk about what's happening right now. If you look at the live radar, no precipitation at this hour. Today is dry because of high pressure. One little uh, problem here is this little, you know, this little black line. That's called a trough of low pressure. It's just a lifting mechanism. It's close enough to us where it's going to create some clouds. So while we have high pressure over us, we will see some clouds. But things are going to warm up. No rain today, clouds in the forecast, and it's always about story number two. It's always about the location of the high, depending on how warm it's going to be or how cool it's going to be. If you have high pressure up to the north, now the average temperature is right now in Canada in the 40s, right? With that high to the north, that gives you a northwest wind. That northwest wind brings us cooler air from Canada because the temperature is in the 40s, and that brings below average temperatures. The best case scenario is to get a westerly breeze at this time of year. It's, it's, it's down sloping winds. It heats by compression. It gives us lots of sunshine and it takes the temperatures up and we do not have a lot of humidity. Now, if you want to feel like summer, hot and humid, you get the high to go south where it's going over the next couple of days. That gives us a south wind that brings up that warmth from the Gulf of Mexico and it feels like Miami here or Tupelo, Mississippi. Your temperatures at this hour, anywhere from 50 in Yonkers to 57 in Inwood. We're in the mid 50s and you're in Jersey City. Your highs today, somewhere between 76 to 80 degrees. That's the range, right? 76 to 80 degrees, warmer than yesterday, but more clouds in the afternoon than yesterday. Tomorrow, the jet stream is basically zonal. That means it's going from the west coast to the east coast. We're heated up by the length of day and the angle of the sun. But we're going to tack on a little uh, warmth because we're going to have winds out of the southwest. So let's say tomorrow we get up to 80. Wednesday, we get up to 80 degrees. Now, you take this all the way through Sunday, you see the jet stream is what we call ridging. As it goes well north of us, it taps into that heat down south, and so that brings that warm air up toward us. And by Sunday and Monday, and if we have Tuesday at 90, now it's, you know, 90 so hard to get to at Central Park, but you need three 90s to call it a mini heat wave. Right now, we're forecasting possibly 90 on Sunday, possibly on Monday and maybe even Tuesday. That would give you a heat wave, which would be the first of the year, obviously. 80, 76 to 80, that's the range today. Tomorrow about the same with a chance of a slight chance of a shower late, especially north of us. And then Thursday looks like we have better chances of rain, so we'll take the temperature down to 74. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it looks like, Marissa, we're off to the races.